for? You know, I never really thought about quitting. Like, it's kind of part of who I am. And I have branched out into other arenas. Like, I'm in a production company, and I have a management company as well. Mm. So um, I think that this is kind of what I specialize in, and I will be in the adult industry in one way, shape, or form, probably forever. Okay. How does that affect the relationships? You got a man now? No. No? Yeah. When's the last time you had a man? Uh, very long time ago. Maybe 2012. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's difficult being who you are and, and, and having a guy who's who can deal with it. It is for sure. But I also don't think that that's necessarily anything that I'm looking for either. Okay. Um, well, me, well like. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have a, I have a thing. One of the things I think about, uh, I don't think that anybody should be looking for a relationship. You know what I mean? I think if you live your, if you live in the best version of yourself and people gravitate to you and so, somehow the things click in that direction, it happens is much, I, I think that works more, much better than when people are going, I'm, I'm, you know, they're more in love with being in a relationship than actually the person that they, they connect with, you know? Absolutely. And I'm not like against it, but at the same time, I do realize that I probably have a few more roadblocks people have to get over than most people do. And um, it's like, it doesn't really stress me out being single. I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. What about like, dating from the industry? Like people that also work in the same, because they get it. Like, you know, they work the same yeah. schedule, same lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's very true. And I've created a lot of really good friendships with people within the industry. But, um, you know, like we both have to work. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, um, and so we you don't want to date a porn star? No, it's not saying that I wouldn't date one. It's just that um, I think life would be more interesting not dating a porn star. Like, mm. like for the simple fact, not, not saying that I'm completely against it, but um, like a guy often can only come once or twice a day, right? And if he has to work today and he has to work in the morning, Right. <laughs> you know, like we're, so we're, we're, is like, like I need more, I need... both gonna, we're gonna have to schedule like sex and schedule time together because he's gonna be in Budapest for a month shooting, okay. and I'm gonna be like, you know, that, that's also the way like busy lives are, you know, when they're in relationships. So, but I, but I, okay, but are you? Mm, I, you need I a guess... dude that work off his laptop. <laughs> like one of them day traders something. He, oh, no. he got a nice startup. Yeah, he plays like poker that. online. Um <laughs> but but also like has his own friends. Like uh, you can't have both. You can't yeah. have a laptop in Yeah, friends. Sarah J's selfish. She ain't ready for nobody. <laughs> no, I don't. You know, and that's okay. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I mean it is what I mean it, the, yeah. no, nothing would nothing's worse than dating somebody selfish, you know? Uh, like I mean yeah. you know, like or I being in a in a relationship with somebody who's selfish, you you're gonna lose all the time. Yeah. But I mean, and then and you can't, you know, one of the things that I always say that like I've had a I had a friend of mine that was um he fell in love with this porn star and she you know they really had a great connection but i was just like he's just not a guy that could handle that and so uh, he was like man i really love her and, and he you know and then he, he had like a very uh very adamant strong jewish mother who, <laughs> who and so it was like and i'm like dog are you really you ready, really ready to get this smoke? Yeah, that you, you might get it off more than you can chew. Yeah, and I and I go listen. I I understand the connection that you. Plus, she I wasn't think, Jewish too, the girl. So that was a big problem for the Jewish mom. Yeah, yeah, like, that, the, yeah. That, the gangbang is one thing, but the gangbang and go within the Jewish. tribe. Right. Honey, he, why couldn't you get yourself a nice Jewish porn star? Yeah, exactly. they're out there. Exactly. So that's uh, the market. I don't see that or not. There's no <laughs> Jewish porn, is there? They don't yeah, announce they don't. it. Yeah, There's a bunch of I ain't never stars. seen because they're not walking. What are they walking around with a star David on and a yarmulke? No, like, no. they never like theme it that 
When they have niggas fucking, they got us in all kind of goofy ass clothing and bones and shit. Dude, niggas I've be seen, having handcuffs on. So I I've, black, seen Jew, I've seen black I've dudes in, in Hasidic Orthodox Jew gear. Yeah. I've seen that. All right. I've never seen that video. Falash. <laughs> but but it's a, it's an interesting thing, you know, like when you, you know, when you, I, I was I, I was counseling this dude and I was saying to him, you know, I, I'm not, there's no judgment on my part about what anybody does, but you have to be honest if you can really, if are you are going to be okay with this. And, and you also have to be honest as to like what kind of relationship that you can provide somebody, you know, yeah, like, right. I don't think that that's something that I learned until like well into my thirties, you know, mm. like I'm not capable of giving somebody the attention that they might want sometimes, you know? Well, it's not that you're not capable. It's just you don't want to. Right. Well, like, exactly. Like, the way that my life is set up, you see, it's like I'm not really (laughs) capable in this, like, way, you know? But uh, seriously, like, you have to be honest with yourself, like, what you can provide somebody. And you know what? I know my limits, and I can provide, like, a great weekend. Like... (laughs) Yeah, like maybe like, maybe a great weekend like over and over again for like a decade or two. Mm. But like how far apart? <laughs> right, right. Maybe like a month. So apart you're like six months <laughs> every yeah, six yeah. months. I so give you like, a great weekend. I'm I'm like a probably like a once a month kind of person. Like I'll see you like once a month. You That's know? not like, a bad ratio, but we'll it's not the worst thing. It's but it doesn't good. really make for like a relationship. You no. know, yeah, it doesn't. Especially if somebody wants something else. Right, and I have to be honest. Like no, like I would love to like you know hang out for like a day or two and like kick it and really spend a lot of good quality time. Mm-hmm. And then you need to go do your thing, whatever that is, and I'll go do mine, and I'll see you later. But that's <laughs> mature, at least, like to go. Hey, this is what I want. And, oh. you know, you express that to somebody. So you do it up front as opposed to people who don't know what they want. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I try to seek out other people that I think would want where I would feel that like they have a void in that kind of way. And I could fit into that space in their life as well. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.